So, you want to know how to flirt. I'm not the kind of channel who does things like this, but I want to actually help out a little bit. So, I don't do a lot of flirting, but I've read about it, so I can just make sure to help somebody who needs this advice. So, what they, what you actually kind of need to do is just, you know, the, the first thing is just be yourself, you know? I mean, sure, there is, in terms of, like, flirting and dating, there are some hints at lying, sure, but at the same time, the other person is probably lying a little bit about themselves, but, you know... If you have the self-confidence, all you have to do is flirt. And some of the first things to do is, um, again, be yourself. Like, be easy. Don't go up to them and say, hey, you want to go out? And it's like, no, no, no. Just ease into, the con ease into a conversation. Just go to them, have the self-confidence, and just go for it. Just talk. That's all you need to do. Just talk. And, you know, just let it go for a couple of minutes. Just talk about what you like or what they like. And that's how usually it happens, you know? And if there's no spark, okay. If there is a spark, it's then just keep going. If it, again, if there's no spark, like if there's nothing between you, um, then just say your friend, just say sorry to bother you, and just go ahead with your day. Or if it keeps going, if the spark that you feel keeps going, all you have to do is like keep it up, keep up the momentum. Buy them, uh, probably not alcoholic drink, not to get them drunk, but if you want to know this person a little better, maybe a drink, but not enough to get them drunk, and just loosen them up, and just show how it feels about them. And, uh, you know, occasionally, if you're really lucky, and if they want to go, if you, like, really want to get a little bit more into what they are like, or just want to take a risk, all you have to do is just, um, I don't know, just do this, go to their arm, look them in the eye, and go, hey. That's a, listen, that might seem cheesy right now, but it's not, because I've stolen a ton of boyfriends from, well, not a ton, a few boyfriends from other women, just by doing, just getting the cute guy, like, putting the my hand on a cute guy's shoulder, and just looking up in the eye and going, hey, and they, they usually just blush and say, hey, back, and we just start talking. And, you know, um, there's no problem with it because, you know, it's actually quite okay, you know? It's just it kind of, it's pretty much just flirting as long as it's just that way. It's just flirting. Like, I don't know if anyone has that, you know, confidence to just do the hey thing, but actually it does work. You just have to be very confident about yourself and you just have to go, like, whatever works for you, go for it. So... If you're really confident, just go up to them and go, hey, just look them in the eye and smile. Like, I can't smile much, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. So, as long as it works, it'll be okay. So, you found out the person you were flirting with is not single. In fact, the person who, um, the person who you're flirting with has a boyfriend or girlfriend, and they were hearing you flirt, and they go up to you. Now, what you do is just say, like, quickly lie and say, Listen, we were just talking. There's nothing going on between us. You have nothing to worry about, and hopefully nothing will, you know, like nothing will come of it. Like, as long as they're very understanding and you know what you're talking about. Now, with that being said, all you have to do is just keep, like, you can talk to both of them and things can go well. As long as, you know, nothing goes wrong, it'll be okay. So, you find yourself in front of a dead body. You were just talking to the person's girlfriend or boyfriend or the person you were flirting with, and then all of a sudden you blacked out, and all of a sudden you have a broken bottle in your hand, and their body is just right in front of you, while the person you're flirting with is screaming constantly, and they won't be quiet, and you begin to wonder, with this broken bottle, should you shut them up permanently? And the answer is no. Just throw it away and tell the person, don't worry, just call 911. It was an accident. And if they don't say it was an accident, just knock them out. All I have to do is knock the other person out so you can hide the dead body. And I suggest doing this in the middle of the night. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Because if you do it in the day or the afternoon or any other sunlight, you might get a little... Like, it might get a little hard to like get away with it all because if you get like it's better if you like 
take the body, like drag it, and then put it in your car. Because I suggest finding out immediately where the nearest hiding places are. Like, it could be in a sewer, it could be, like, somewhere no one ever goes near you, or probably go on the roof of a building because nobody's going to really be there all that much. Just go for it. Um, just take the body, put the person you, the person you flirted, or flirted with body that you knocked out somewhere safe, probably a chair or a car or a bench, and take the boyfriend or girlfriend's dead body and just drag it along and see, and remember, make sure there are no, it's done in the middle of the night, that's it, just do it in the middle of the night, make sure there are no witnesses, because if there are, you're going to be in a lot of trouble, but thankfully, again, it's going to be in the middle of the night, there's no witnesses, so it's going to be fine. So the police are after you and your, because of your crime, so all you have to do is just hide, hide for a little while, uh, as long as you, like, as long as you hit the body, and as long as the girlfriend has, like, come down with a serious case of amnesia, you're okay. No one can suspect you. Hopefully you got rid of the cameras, you know? Because if you got rid of the cameras, they can't suspect you at all. Nobody can suspect you. So you're going to do fine as long as there are no fingerprints, um, there's no blood on you, you, get, you burn all your clothing, there's no witnesses, the ones that you got out, like, as long as there's no witnesses, you'll be okay. And if there are witnesses, hopefully you got rid of them, so it'll be your word against everybody else who is pretty much dead at this point. So as long as, again, you hit the body well, there is no evidence, all the witnesses are gone, and they're, the person you were flirting with has a significant cup, significant a significant deal of amnesia, you'll be fine. You'll be totally fine. So as long as you follow these things, you'll be perfectly fine. Okay, now you have to fake your own death. Here's what you do. You take the body that you hid and paint it whatever color that your skin is, put it in your personal clothes, and put it in a random car, and then set the car on fire with some of your teeth, your ID, and, um, I don't know, your cell phone, like anything that could be traced back to you. And then you have to like change your identity, you have to ch you have to wear different clothing, you have to change your hair, you have to change your skin, and you have to try to change your voice and get several fake IDs. There is a friend, I know there are people out there who can give fake IDs and give like monumental skin makeovers. Like you can go from black to white just like that, and that's perfectly fine. You're going to be totally fine as long as you do that. And it's going to be okay, but as long as, you, there's again, no evidence, the body has been disposed of because they think that it's your body in the car, so they'll, the police will have to drop the case for your murder, and so it's going to be totally fine as long as you get out of the country immediately. Because you can get away with it as long as you leave the country. It's not a manhunt as long as you're both dead and you have left the country under an assumed name. So it's going to be quite easy to get uh, get away with it. So now you're in jail. They caught you. And you're about to be... You're... I've never been in jail for... I haven't been to jail for about five years, so I'm pretty much out of the loop about how jail goes. But as much as I know, like, you have to be a part of the crowd. Like, you have to, like, build up your image. Like, as long as you don't, like, tell them that you killed... Like, they understand if you killed somebody, but if you hurt, like, a female, or if you were a female and you killed a man, then they're, you're going to be fine, because probably some of them are going to, like, probably hate men already because of what they did. But if you're a man with, who hit a female, you're in trouble. So what you need to do is establish yourself as the alpha male in jail. So all you have to do is... So now you've been shanked, you're dying. And nobody... And you've been shanked about a dozen times because they found out what you did. Turns out the person who led that shanking was the brother or the brother of the person you killed that got you to jail. Uh, he didn't like that, apparently. So... And on your dying breath, you just go, okay, so not your dying breath. So here's what you do. 
what you do is breathe in and breathe out. You have to crawl and go to the, you know, medical thing, if they have medical thing. Put on a bandage, drink a whole bunch of alcohol, and just staple your wounds shut. You'll be fine because they'll be busy shanking you in the same spot. And as long as it's the same spot and it's not fatal, you'll be okay. And that's how you do that. Just wait it out. Murder trial is going to be there soon. So either you're going to be executed or you're just going to be let go and you'll never see any of these people again. So now you're dead. And that's how you flirt. I want to... I can't believe I actually gave all that advice. I hope you all follow all this advice because I want to do more videos like this. Again, this is usually a comedy show. Occasionally it goes into a little more dramatic in terms of my life, like a slice of life thing, and I talk about my life. But I hope that you follow this advice, and hopefully these flirting tips will get you going. So um, until then, thank you, and I'll see you another time.